Hey, this is Darren with Day 5. Yes, over the weekend we continued. Did some more reading in this book. By the way, this is a great book. Uh, a Million Miles in a Thousand Years. And it's really how, it says, how I learned to live a better story, which I think is a great inspirational book, how to tell a story book. Um, anyway, uh, one of the big ahas that I got in this reading, by the way, let's check the timer. Um, clock, 32 minutes. See, sometimes that you do the 17 and you keep going. And I, I know for you, if you're a reader, you think 17 minutes of reading, that's not a big deal. But reading's a challenge for me. So <laughs> audio, I'm good with. Um, but I'm almost done the book, getting there. And I'm starting to have more, more tags, more dog ears. But what was really cool and a big aha in the storytelling I got from this reading is uh, Donald talks about scenes uh, when they were going to write a scene for uh, his film that <clears throat> they talked about having a dialogue in a coffee shop. And one of his buddies, who's the, the screenwriter, said, no, it's got to be more interesting. And they brought up a few examples that um, in film we've seen a lot. We've seen so many scenes in so many places that how can we make it interesting? And I remember when I was with the uh, screenwriters, they said, look, movies are a visual medium. So everything has to be visual. And that's why, like, sports films are so good. they got all these video uh, visuals going on and, you know, epics and their landscapes. Um, <clears throat> but one of the examples he used that I was like a big aha was when Rocky was working out, he couldn't afford or didn't work out in the regular facilities all the time. But anyway, if you remember, if you saw Rocky, uh, when he was in the refrigerator punching the big, uh, the, the meat, <laughs> in the meat locker, and it's like, wow, I remember that visual. So what he talked about is, okay, how do we take interesting visuals and use that as part of the storytelling rather than just a conversation where could the conversation be and that reminded me in my story of a conversation that I had with Dave Fitzgerald uh, who is a comedy mentor will definitely be part of the story uh, when he was getting his chemo uh, and it was it was just you know sitting there chatting. It's sort of, I'll remember the visual, so I might use that visual in terms of making it a more interesting conversation because there's a backstory to that. The other example that I love from this one was he had read or I don't remember exactly. I'd have to look it up. But anyway, the key is he talks about a scene where uh, a woman and her daughter, uh, the daughter just buys a new dress and she's going to this prom and comes in and shows the father and is obviously very proud, but the father isn't quite sure what he's supposed to do or say. And he knows he's supposed to say something, but doesn't know what. And he loves his daughter, but doesn't know what to do. And then uh, another uh, occurrence happens and he still doesn't say anything when she comes out and shows him excuse me, see, real, no editing, <laughs> and then, um, so he decides to make it a memorable event, so he actually goes, uh, puts on a tuxedo, and then comes out and knocks on the daughter's door, and um, shows her, and shows that this is a big event, and he does care, he doesn't know what to do, and it really kind of tugs on your heartstrings, just the, the visual picture that it makes, uh, and the aha that the daughter get, the, how much he did care. And it says uh, that they actually went and they danced in the living room, the mom, the dad, and the daughter, until like one in the morning or something something like that. Anyway, it was just, it was a great little story, powerful, but it's about making those memorable moments. And that reminded me, uh, I had a great moment that my nephews talk about whenever I go home for the holiday. Um, I actually have pictures of the event here that I keep up. And it was a night that, uh, growing up, uh, I was, it was my first big babysitting, uh, late night, and that, or kids sitting, I shouldn't say babies. But I remembered when I was growing up, I used to do lip sync. So I thought, let's ha put on a concert with my nephews. 
and when my sister and brother-in-law came home that we would perform the concert uh, the three of us and so we made instruments and th made signs out of paper and blah 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 it was and my nephews still talk about it but it was hearing the idea from the book that reminded me of one moment that my nephews will always remember and I don't know how it came about but I just said hey we, let's have fun and make this memorable so and that's kind of what the book's about too about living a better story making intentionally making things more interesting so longer report today, but I thought it was fascinating and interesting about storytelling for, for you and your story. So that's it for today. Uh, 32, was it 32? 32 minutes closer to my goal. How about you? Stage time.